Honorable Dr. Matthew Boku Prempe is a 56 year old medical doctor, a devoted Christian, and a consummate politician. A product of Prempe College at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, both in Kumasi, as well as the Erasmus University in the Netherlands. Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, as I indicated, is a medical doctor by training. It was at KN University that he made his first appearance as a leader after he won the position as the local National Union of Ghanaian Students NUCS president, a position he held from 1991 to 1992. After working with the National Health Service in the United Kingdom for some time, he returned to Ghana in 2005 to pursue a career in business and more importantly in politics. He successfully became the Member of Parliament for Menshia in 2009. Ahead of the 2012 elections, the constituency, as you all know, was divided into two, Menshia North and Menshia South. He again won to become the Member of Parliament in Menshia South in 2012 elections, and he retained that seat in 2016. Owing to his passion for education, His Excellency, our President, Nana Danko Ekufuado, appointed him as Minister of Education during his first term. As Education Minister, Dr. Macho Boku Pempe Napo, as we popularly call him, spearheaded the implementation of the famous free senior high school policy. Under Dr. Prempe, the successful implementation of the government's flagship free senior high school policy saw the country's SHL population leave from 800,000 in 2016 to 1.2 million by January 2021. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, it is instructive to note that Napo ensured that this policy was rolled out within the first year of the Kufuado government when he was appointed as education minister. He didn't ask for honeymoon. I repeat, he didn't ask for honeymoon. It will be recorded that at that time, he announced that he was going to implement the free senior high school policy Many people, including some from the civil society organization and even some members of our government thought it was too early for us to implement the free senior high school. But typically of Napo, he will have none of that. He showed boldness and decisiveness when it matters most and went on with the policy, which is by far the biggest social intervention in the nation's education sector since independence. Today, posterity has vindicated him. Ghana certainly needs leaders who are bold and decisive because it is the only way we can achieve results. It's also worthy to note that throughout his four-year tenure as Minister for Education, there was significant industrial harmony and stability in the educational front. He ensured that the concerns of teachers and other players in the education sector were adequately attended to. This therefore confirms that Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe has an incredible interpersonal and negotiation skills. He's arguably the only Minister of Education in this fourth republic to have achieved this feat. Having delivered at the Ministry for Education, the President appointed him during his second term to head the Ministry of Energy, where again he demonstrated his stellar leadership qualities. He worked very hard to keep our lights on. Even during times of unprecedented global economic crisis, when every sector of our economy was virtually in, dark, in darkness, grasping for, beef, uh, for, grasping for breath, we however concede that in the last couple of weeks and months, some part of the country did face some power challenges. But the good news is that 
unlike in the past, particularly under His Excellency Dramani Mahama, where he slept in darkness for over four years, Dr. Matupoku Pempe ensured that the recent power challenges we experienced did not last beyond three months. It's indeed result-oriented, and there's absolutely no debate about that. In recognition of his leadership skills, his contribution towards education in Ghana, particularly in respect of his role that he has played in the government flagship program, the Free Senior High School, Dr. Matupoku Pempe, we are not surprised that he has been honored by the University of Education in Iba, the University of Cape Coast, the University of Professional Studies Accra, the conferment on him with honorary doctorate degrees. In July 2021, he was invited to join the Mission 4, 7 High Level Advisory Group, a joint initiative for UNESCO, the Sustainable Development Solution Network for Global Citizens and the Center for Sustainable Development at Columbia University. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, if you were to ask me what Dr. Matu Poku Prempe brings to the MPP presidential ticket, I would say it brings to us a bold, confident, hardworking, result-driven, decisive, grassroots mobilizer, charismatic, patriotic, and demonstrable, incorruptible person. That simplifies who Dr. Matthew Poku Pempe is. In fact, he's a leader with a clear track record of achievement, and he shares Dr. Mohamed Bamiya's vision of both solutions for our country that are responsive to the needs, opportunities, and challenges of the 21st century. In this, res in this respect, he complements our flag bearer in many significant ways, and the two enjoy a warm personal relationship anchored in deep mutual respect. More importantly, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe has a great working relationship with our presidential candidate, His Excellency Dr. Al Haj Mohamed Baumia. The synergy between these two great leaders on our presidential ticket, coupled with their proven track record and transformational campaign message will help the new patriotic party to secure a resounding third conservative electoral victory on December 7, 2024. Inshallah, by the grace of God, it is possible and we will achieve it. Thank you very much and God bless us all.